I love football. And since I grew up in Seattle, I love the Seahawks. And all year long, I look forward to the fall when it's going to be football season and I get to watch my Seahawks and I get to be the 12th man and scream and yell and, and act crazy and forget all my problems and all the big worries in the world that there are that I can't solve and just watch football for a few hours a week. That's all I ask. But the NFL had to ruin that and they had to pink wash all the teams pink wash my Seahawks, which is very depressing and, and very upsetting because I know what all those pink shoes and, and towels and hats, what they stand for. And it's not looking for a cure, not at all. The cancer industry doesn't want a cure. There's no money in that. So I wrote to the NFL and to Paul Allen at the Seahawks and, and Russell Wilson and the rest of them to tell them what the pink really stands for. All those pink ribbon diseases are in business with chemical companies. Now this is very interesting and, and some of you may already know this, but AstraZeneca founded Breast Cancer Awareness Month. AstraZeneca made a pesticide that causes breast cancer. AstraZeneca manufactures a drug, tamoxifen, which is very toxic, which is supposed to be an anti-cancer drug, which causes uterine cancer, among other things. But to add insult to injury, AstraZeneca has bought a chain of cancer treatment centers. So now, after they cause cancer, they can prescribe their cancer drugs to their cancer patients and finish the job. Uh, other chemical companies that are in business with the Cancer Society in Coleman are uh, DuPont and General Electric. They both manufacture mammograms, mammogram equipment. Um, because, of course, there's money in that. They don't suggest to people get thermograms, which are non-toxic. No, get mammograms, because they're all in business together to make money. DuPont also manufactures Teflon, which is linked to cancer. But General Electric owns nuclear reactor plants, which leak, and they have been sued because they leak. But General Electric also owns the plant in Japan which leaked, which we have no idea of the horrendous disaster of that terrible leakage. We have no idea how much damage and death and destruction it's going to cause. Now the Cancer Society has been looking for the cure that never comes for 70 years and in 1981 or, uh, or 82 the New England of Journal of Medicine said, the war on cancer is a total failure. We need to concentrate on prevention. But the cancer industry didn't want to hear that because there's no money in that. They're making way too much money. Pink washing everything. Coleman has been looking for the cure that never comes for about 30 years. And of course, now, nobody even expects the cure to come. It's just some vague thing far off in the future that never gets here. So anyway, that's who the NFL is in business with. That's what all that pink washing means. And if you're a football fan and you understand all this, and you get what the pink washing really is, and big pharma execs getting rich, and animals getting vivisected on, which is a total fraud, and I'm sure a lot of you know that too. If you understand all that, please write to the NFL, email your team, get on their Facebooks, tell them no more pinkwashing, please no more pinkwashing. It ruins the game for us. So, 
Yeah, I do love the Seahawks. I always will. And Russell Wilson, you are my favorite quarterback. I love watching you. I love rooting for you. But please, don't wear pink anymore. And uh, choose to think, not pink. Okay? Go Hawks.